Hello, I'm Jay Buckley, Technical Training Manager at Honeywell Consumer Products Group. Welcome to Module 4 of the Autolite Challenge Professional Technician Program. This module will focus on coil-on plug ignition systems. DIS or waste spark ignitions evolved from conventional ignition systems and made the distributor obsolete. As automakers continued to improve ignition performance and reliability, coil on plug and coil near plug systems were developed, and now they've made DIS technology obsolete. DIS systems were rapidly adopted by many automakers in the mid 80s, but they definitely had their share of maintenance challenges, like the spark plug wires. Spark plug wires are difficult to install. They have to carry very high voltages and they're prone to failure in the hostile engine and compartment environment. They must also be heavily insulated to prevent electromagnetic interference with the onboard electronics in modern cars. Since the EPA began requiring automakers to monitor misfires, engineers have been looking for ways to improve the reliability of the ignition system. A coil-on plug design decreases the complexity and increases the durability of an ignition system. Engineers particularly like the fact that coil-on plug eliminates the spark plug wires, their corresponding heat shields and looms. Using an individual coil for each cylinder also provides many benefits. The engine control module, or ECM, is able to control engine timing by cylinder tailoring each spark event for individual cylinders. The ECM is also known as the PCM, or Powertrain Control Module. Having one coil per cylinder also allows increased coil saturation time. This increased dwell, or saturation, allows the coil more time to build up a magnetic field and have a higher output voltage at high RPM. This additional voltage output is critical to preventing misfires at high RPM or under heavy loads. It also gives the coil the capability to fire under increasingly leaner mixtures, improving emissions performance. Coil on plug systems were first seen in automotive applications around the 1996 model year. Today, they're quickly becoming standard on most cars. Some engines cannot be equipped with a typical coil on plug ignition due to the proximity of the spark plugs to the exhaust manifolds. Engineers have equipped these engines with coil near plug systems, or CNP. A typical example would be the LS series engines from General Motors. Now, let's take a closer look at how a coil on plug ignition system works. In a typical coil on plug equipped engine, you'll find many of the same sensor inputs you would find in a DIS engine. In the troubleshooting section of this module, we'll be working on a 4.6 V8 engine. So for now, we'll focus on how that system works. Keep in mind, all coil on plug equipped engines function in a similar manner. This is a V8 engine, so it's equipped with eight coils, one for each cylinder. These coils are smaller than a DIS coil. In a coil on plug system, the coils are mounted directly above the spark plug and are connected by a short rubber boot. The coils are activated by the powertrain control module, or PCM, to fire the spark plugs in the correct sequence. To fire the ignition, the powertrain control module relies on signals from the crankshaft position sensor, also known simply as the crank sensor. This sensor provides the PCM with two types of information, the exact position of the crankshaft in 10 degree increments and the speed of the crankshaft in RPMs. The crankshaft position sensor is a magnetic transducer mounted on the engine block next to a pulse wheel located on the crankshaft. This pulse wheel is also known as the trigger wheel. By monitoring the crankshaft mounted pulse wheel, the crank sensor is the primary sensor for ignition information to the PCM. The trigger wheel has a total of 35 teeth spaced 10 degrees apart with one empty space for a missing tooth. By monitoring the trigger wheel, the crank sensor indicates the crankshaft position and speed information to the PCM. By monitoring the missing tooth, the crank sensor is also able to identify piston position in order to synchronize the ignition system and provide a way of tracking the position of the crankshaft relative to a fixed reference. The powertrain control module also uses signals from the camshaft position sensor, which is known as the CMP. 
The camshaft position sensor detects the position of the camshaft. It identifies when piston number one is on its compression stroke. A signal is then sent to the PCM where it is used to synchronize the firing of sequential fuel injectors. The coil on plug ignition applications use the camshaft position sensor signal to select the proper ignition coil to fire. The input circuit to the PCM is also referred to as a CMP input or circuit. The PCM also uses signals from the crank and cam sensors to monitor misfires. Before you begin troubleshooting, always refer to the OE service manual for the vehicle that you're working on. Although the principles are the same, there are many variations of coil on plug systems in today's cars. General Motors, for example, uses multiple coils with at least four different ignition control systems. Here are some general troubleshooting tips that will get you going in the right direction. Start by verifying the customer's complaint. Remember that no start, misfire, and engine stalling complaints can be fuel related, spark related, or both. Most cars we see with ignition problems are either misfire complaints with the check engine light on or no start complaints. Always start with the basics. In our quest to understand the ever increasing complexity of modern cars, we tend to focus on complicated issues and forget the three basic things we must have to make the engine run. Fuel, compression, and spark. Begin by checking to make sure all wiring connections are good. Look for obvious problems like damaged wires and corrosion. Make sure the charging system is normal. A weak charging system reduces the voltage to the primary side of the coil, which prevents the induction of a powerful secondary current. Although the electronic ignition system will operate with as little as 7 volts input to the primary side, the voltage should be a normal system voltage of 12 to 14 volts to create a strong spark. We recently saw a vehicle in our shop that would crank and not run due to insufficient alternator output. Using a scan tool, check for codes and correct all codes present before doing any additional diagnosis. Pay special attention to codes for the powertrain control module, the crankshaft position sensor, and the camshaft position sensor. Coil operation and spark timing are controlled by the PCM based on signals from the CKP and CMP. Coils do fail from old age or heat. However, if you identify a defective coil, try to determine what caused the coil failure and correct the problem. Otherwise, the replacement coil will fail just like the original coil. For example, a bad current limiting circuit in the ignition control module can cause rapid overheating and early ignition coil failure. If a coil is suspect, you may be able to swap it with another coil on the same engine to see if the misfire follows the suspected bad coil. If the misfire moves with the suspected coil, the coil is bad. If the misfire stays at the same cylinder, there may be a problem with the voltage supply or trigger signal to that cylinder. There could also be a fuel issue with that cylinder's injector. If the misfire is present at idle but smooths out when the throttle is opened, it could be a vacuum leak at that cylinder or an issue with the exhaust gas recirculation valve. Although this is the easiest way to diagnose bad coils, swapping coils may be too time consuming on some engines. A commercial coil tester, available from many tool suppliers, is a reliable and time conscious way to test suspect coils. If the coil can generate a spark on the tester, the coil should be in good condition. An ohm meter can also be used to test coil winding resistance. Primary side resistance from coil minus to coil plus is typically between 0.3 and 1 ohm on electronic ignition type coils. Secondary resistance values vary widely, so consult the specifications chart for the engine you are servicing. If a spec chart isn't available, compare secondary readings among all the coils to see if any one is higher than the others. A high resistance indicates deterioration in the wiring. Surprisingly, a coil with high resistance may still fire the spark plug, but the voltage produced will be higher because the current must jump the open wiring in addition to jumping the spark plug gap. This can lead to coil overheating and failure. Although coils can generate up to 45,000 volts, normal firing voltage is typically 20,000 to 25,000 volts. 
Voltage levels much over 25,000 indicate an opening in the coil windings, worn plugs, or a bad connection between the coil and the plug. Prolonged exposure to more than 25,000 volts can cause a coil to fail by breaking down the internal insulation or overheating the unit. Shorted windings inside the coil can be difficult to diagnose. Just a few turns shorted together can cut maximum coil output from 45,000 to only 10,000 volts. Typically, a shorted coil will produce an adequate spark under light loads, but will misfire under heavier loads or hard acceleration. Sometimes, a coil operates normally when the engine is started, but then fails after the engine gets hot. The engine will start and run well, but then develops an intermittent or steady misfire in one cylinder. You'll notice that the engine will operate normally during low speed operation, but misfire under load or hard acceleration, especially after the engine has been running for a period of time. If this is the case, attempt to swap coils to see if the misfire follows the suspected coil. If an engine starts normally, but then develops random misfires, stalls, or has other performance problems traced to the ignition system, and no problems are found in the secondary ignition system, check the operation of the crankshaft position sensor and the camshaft position sensor. Make sure all connections between the sensors and the powertrain control module are clean and secure. Most coil-on plug equipped engines originally came equipped with a platinum tip spark plug because they fired in the conventional direction. But automakers soon progressed to fine wire iridium spark plugs like the Autolite XP iridium enhanced spark plugs. You should always plan to replace the coil-on plug boots when changing spark plugs on a coil-on plug engine. These boots exist in a very hot environment and usually crack when removed. It takes longer to change the spark plugs on a coil-on plug engine, so it's very frustrating to have misfires related to a split boot after installing fresh spark plugs. Remember, these are generalized troubleshooting instructions. Always check the service manual for the vehicle you are working on. Congratulations! You've completed the fourth training module of the Autolite Challenge Professional Technician Program. Thank you for your time.